looking at MMAT on Fidelity, looking for the options, the MMAT ones. As y'all know, there's MMAT, MMAT one, and MMAT two. So I'm gonna click here on the right hand side of the screen where it says options chain. Now, when you first open this up, on mine anyway, it just shows me September 17th and October 15th on the top right here. So we're gonna scroll through that and just show y'all what that looks like real quick. So September 17th did not have any calls before the merger or before the divvy. So they didn't have any adjusted. So you just have September 17th. Those are all 100 for 100 regular call options you'd buy any day. Now you get here to October, you got something called October ADJ and you scroll down farther, you got October, just regular October. So those here are all regular calls, 100 for 100. And these here are October adjusted calls. I'm not too concerned about October. Uh, Y'all can play that if you want to. I personally like uh, January for this. And if they had April, I would get April, but uh, they don't have any adjusted calls in April. They stopped in January. So here we got the screen. I got all the calls. I just clicked on all of them so that they pull it all up. So September regular calls, October adjusted calls those are all mmat1 and mmat2 so you need to be taking caution to make sure you're buying the right one this is not financial advice but be careful you got regular october this is just a how to uh january and then you got that little dash so this one's a little less obvious that those are the adjusted ones but those are the adjusted ones and then you have January 22 regular 100 for 100 and of course April 22 100 for 100 so if we get up here to January adjusted you'll notice you got if you look at the strike which goes down the center of the screen you got one one dollar option you got two different two fifty dollar options what's up with that one four dollar option two different fives one six two different seven point fives i ain't gonna keep going but they go on to ten i think yeah they stop at ten so we're gonna click in here on this one dollar option at the top and just see what that screen looks like so y'all can know so here we pulled it up. It's giving us the information. I'm gonna hit get quote. This is the only way I know to make it show you MMAT1 or MMAT2. So if you look here at the top left hand side of the screen, you'll say MMAT2 January 22nd, uh, $22, $90. These MMAT2s are not what we're looking for. Those are only gonna give you 50 shares of MMAT. So uh, do with that what you will. You may want them. But that is not what I am talking about. What I am talking about, this is MMAT1 options, which include 100 Divi and 50 MMAT. So I'm click on this first one for the 2.5, $2.50 strike. I'm going to say get quote. You see it says MMAT1 now instead of MMAT2. So you can click on in here farther into trade, whatever. The ask at last time right now it's closing hours obviously it's two o'clock in the morning uh it was 195 for the call so if you paid that or that was the last ask so you could get that and make that order go through immediately uh 195 basically would mean that uh if the if you bought it at 195 and the divvy was 195 then you broke even right you got 50 shares for uh five dollars a piece which would be your 250 exercise and and then the other way around say it was ten dollars they literally paid you to take these shares off their hands and then if it was five dollars uh then you just paid a dollar 95 per share for your 50 shares that you got so this could help you lower your average could possibly get you some shares for free it could possibly get you some shares for free and earn you some money so my breakdown was uh if divvy is 10 then i get paid 570 dollars per call that i got the caveat caveat to all this caveat to all this is that you have to exercise until the divvy amount is released if it is a value then uh, uh that call will change instantly 
Other than that, that's it. Signing out. Peace up, H-Town Down.